Well, let me tell you guys, the uh, past week or so has been pretty tough. I went out and scouted this morning. Everything was just super foggy. I couldn't see anything out on the lake. I couldn't really find anything in the marshes. I found a few goose feeds, but it's raining. So that would be a sloppy mess. So tomorrow we're gonna be winging it. I wanna do this, I wanna give it a try. I've got my diver decoy. So I got golden eye, canvas back, redhead, and bluebill. And I'm also bringing two dozen of these last pass goose floaters from Final Approach. What I'm gonna be doing is running my long lines, my gang rigs. We're gonna hunt some deeper water, so that's gonna be important. I'm also using the Motion Ducks decoy spreader. I've got eight decoys, eight honker decoys hooked up to that. So then we'll put out the honker decoys and we'll put out the diver decoys. And hopefully something will happen tomorrow. I, I really hope we can get into some birds tomorrow, but I really don't know. Uh, I just, I couldn't see anything this morning when I scouted and I don't think this fog is gonna lift up at all today. So, gonna go in blind, hope for the best. Well, here we go. Core's, core's whining and ready. We've got all the decoys out. So we got the three diver long lines. We got the motion ducks with the honker decoys, four single honker decoys and a long line with the honker decoys. So, this spot is actually not as deep as I anticipated it was gonna be. I honestly feel like I could have set up in this spot without using the long lines, but we're here, this is what we have. This is the spot I chose. We got a good wind. We might be looking at the sun now that I think about it, so that's gonna be a problem. But other than that, we're good. We had a couple mergs come in and land. This is the best option I got. We're gonna give it a go. Here comes a few down the line. What are they gonna do? Ooh, they're gonna play. Come on, gun. Where did he go? Well, there we go. We got one to come in, actually a whole group, but we got one of them. My gun didn't cycle correctly. It wouldn't spit the shell out. I could not for the life of me get that shell out fast enough to shoot that bird on the water. Took the boat out, looked for it. It was gone. It was golden eye, so that's cool. Uh, target species for today. Spread obviously works. We'll keep at it. Morning's still young, seeing some birds flying. There's a guy crappie fishing, so maybe they'll uh, kick some birds around for me. What's up front? What is going on with these shells? Cora. <clears throat> Heel. Back. Nope, here. Finally have some success. We got a golden eye. It's a hen, but we'll take it. It was uh, a lot of shooting and not a lot of killing this morning. For one, these are really tough birds, and 
I've been having some issues with my shells ejecting, so I must not be holding my gun to my shoulder tight enough. But uh, angled the blind a little bit to get better shooting off the right because it seemed like there was birds coming into the right side. That one came to the left, but kind of sucks that Cora didn't get that retrieve. It was kind of far out there. She lost the mark. She kind of tried to break, and it was just, this has been kind of chaos today. So, oh well, we got the bird. Maybe in the next one we'll get a good retrieve. Cora. Had a girl. Drop. Good girl. Good girl. Place. Nice. Cora, back. Well, that's a change of pace. Water swatting, baby. Had a girl drop. Nice, golden eye drake, baby. That's a stud. Heck yeah. And just like that, we got two golden eyes there. Well, sure isn't the prettiest hunt, I will give it that, but got a nice golden eye drake. By the time I saw him and got my gun up, he was on the water. But uh, nice retrieve, Cora. Good job, bud. And then uh, before that, we got this hen just sitting in there. I look up and there's a bird in the decoy, so water swatted it and uh, got away, started flying, I shot it again, it landed. And uh, we took care of business, so that is nice. Got a couple more golden eyes, so we got three golden eyes. I forgot how much I love diver hunting. Like, it's a lot of fun, but you got to be quick. It's not like puddle ducks where they take their time descending. These divers, I mean, they just come in and land. So maybe on my A game here. Be alert, be attentive, pay attention. Left, right, left, right, left, right, be looking. And I hope that this new shot cam Gen 4 video is coming out clear and good. Like it's on 2.7K with 60 frames per second. Like it should look really good compared to previous shot cams that I've used. So I think uh, I think she's she was excited about that. She got two retrieves there, right back to back. On that one, she didn't even know where it was. So that was a blind, it was like right where the sun is hitting the water. Well, I, I am, uh, I'm on the last long line there, picking everything up, and out of the blue, I'm out walking around, boat's here, Cora's out walking around, like everything, no possible way a duck would land, right? I get this. This lands in my spread. I, <laughs> it's got like white feet. If you guys can see, yeah, I see it's got like white feet. Here's the back. I have never seen a duck that looks like this. I don't, I, I don't know, like I'm, I'm usually pretty good at IDing, but it's like golden eye, probably too big to be a buffy. But like, look at the feet. They're like, like a blue, white, like this has got some weirdness going on. There's nothing on the wings. So like golden eyes have stuff on the wings, There's nothing there. I almost, is this an old squaw? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to hear from people, but this is a wild, wild looking bird. I, I, I cameras are put, like everything is just getting packed up. I already took like the picture for the thumbnail and everything. Like this is the stuff that you guys don't really see on the YouTube, but 
What the heck, man? What the heck? I don't... This is just blowing my mind. It's got like some like bronze on its back here. Like... But all my time hunting, I, I've never seen a duck that looks like this. There we go, we got the boat all packed up. And uh, I, I did some Googling. I had a thought that it was this, and I do believe that it is a hen old squaw or a uh, long-tailed duck, as some people call them. I don't think I'm going to mount it. I really don't want to mount a hen old squaw. If it was a Drake old squaw with a nice sprig, I'd mount it. But this, I might just take some pictures and uh, have the memories. So here you go, Cora. That was a rare duck. You retrieved a rare duck. I know on YouTube, like, there's a lot of, like, oh, my gosh, we shot a rare or whatever. But this, that is rare. Kansas, old squaw. I mean, I've, I've heard of it happening very rarely, but for it to happen to me, that's pretty cool. So I think we're going to wrap today's video up here. Uh, we got the boat all loaded. It looks good. We've got just enough space for me and Cora. Everything's going to ride on pad just fine. So it's always good. Make sure to wear your life jacket if you guys are going out there. But make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you like this. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of this little diver hunt. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.